Hey guys, how's it going? This is fourth video of NumPy playlist series and in this video we are going to learn about reshaping. Also we will learn about the dimension. Okay. In last video we have seen some functions like a shorting function, concatenation function and we have seen some basic thing like a shape, size and dim that is a dimension. Whenever we are working with NumPy arrays, sometimes we need to change the shape of array. So that time you can use that reshape function. And also we will, we will learn about the expand dimension function that will increase the dimension of your array. Okay. So first I am going to import NumPy. Now I am going to create one array. Let's say array x. I am using to create array using this. I am going to create this array using np.array function and I will add few elements like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can see that this is our array x and the size of this array is 8. That is the total number of element in our x. Now let's check shape of this array. We have seen all this size, shape, all kind of thing in last video. If you haven't seen this last video, you can watch that video first. So I am just going to say x dot shape. So you can see that it is returning us the total number of element in our array. Now let's talk about the reshaping. Reshaping function is very very important. Let's say you want to reshape in uh, reshape uh, array with two row and four column. You can do like that. Let's reshape this array here, like x dot reshape. First parameter is number of rows in your number of rows that you want to add. So we want to create array with two row and four columns. So I can simply pass two row and four columns. So here you can see that now our array is tree shaped total number of row is 1 and 2, 2 row and 4 column this is 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. Now the total number of element in our array will be multiplication of row and column. So here we have 2 row like 2 row and 4 column so total number of element will be 8. So you can see that the total number of element is 8. Now you cannot increase element while reshaping an array. What I mean by that? So I mean that you cannot increase the column. You cannot do like 2 cross 5 because whenever you do 2 cross 5 that means you are increasing total number of element. So first let me try to do x dot reshape and I am going to say 2 row and 5 column. So if I pass 2 row and 5 column that means I want to increase 2 element more. So like 2 and 5 so the total number of element will be 10 but in our original array total number of element is 8. So we cannot increase number of element while reshaping an array. So if I try this it will give us error cannot reshape array of size 8 into 2 cross 5 because if I if we reshape this we need to add two other elements okay so I can reshape this if I add two more elements now you can see that total number of element is 10 and now if I use this it works but this time 2 cross 4 will not work cannot reshape array of size 10 into 2 cross 4 okay now let's take another example and learn more about reshaping here i'm going to create one array called y using np dot array function and i'm going to create multi-dimension array this time so i'm going to just say one two three four five six and seven eight and nine okay and now you can see that this is our y array let's check shape and size 
so it is showing us three cross three that mean total number of three three row and three column so you can see that this is a first second and third three row and three column let's check size it is nine three cross three that mean three into three okay so you can see that the total number element is one two three four five six seven eight nine now i want to reshape this array i want to add nine row and only one column so let's do that i can simply say y dot reshape i'm going to add nine because i want to add nine row and one column so if i do this nine into one nine into one that means nine okay so you can see that we have now nine row first second third four fifth six seven eight and ninth and only one column okay you can do same you can do this same thing by using another way let me try to do this first you can simply do like y dot reshape you can pass minus one and one but why minus one so whenever you are whenever you pass minus one in indexing slicing or reshaping that mean you, you are saying that take all the total number of element okay so he if i pass here minus one what it 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 just basically it take all the element or size here you can see that there are one two three four five six seven eight nine so here nine element so it will take all the element it will take nine element as a minus one okay you can see that the result is same totally same if i add another array like six seven eight and if i reshape this this time it will give us error because in in our y array total number of element is 12 okay you can see it is showing us error but if i use y dot reshape it will not give us any kind of error okay it will automatically detect total number of element in our array okay now y dot shape 12 cross 1 12 row and 1 column okay now let's talk about the dimensions in last video we have seen some basic dimension now let me here let me create one array one two three and here i'm going to check dimension of this array with help of and attribute in last video we, we talked about this okay so you can see that total number of dimension is one now we want to increase the number of dimension so we can use expand dimension function you can simply use np dot expand dims and in this expand dims first parameter will be whichever array that you want to increase the uh, dimension in that so here i'm going to pass z and the second parameter will be axis so in last video we talked about axis 0 that means row and axis 1 that means column so let me just comment down this axis 0 that mean row and axis 1 is column okay if i use this np dot expand dim function so the dimension one dimension is increased let's check that we can simply use set dot and dim you can see that the dimension is now increased okay this is first dimension and if i print z you can see that this is first dimension and this is second dimension but why do we need to change the dimension of an array so whenever you are working with any kind of uh, machine learning model so that time you, you will use this kind of thing like a dimension and reshaping reshaping is really important this reshape minus one dot one minus one cross one is really really important okay also you can change dimension in uh, in column side okay 
Now one thing that I want to add in reshape is that you can also reshape this array in one cross minus one that means only one row and all the columns like you can do like this right now y is something like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the shape is 12 cross 1 okay the shape is 12 cross 1 now I want to change the shape something like 1 cross 12 that means 1 row and total 12 columns so I can simply say y is equal to y dot reshape and 1 and minus 1 and now let's print this y you can see that here the total number of row is 1 and column is 12 now let's print this okay you can see that so guys that's it for this video if you have any question about reshaping if you have any question about this minus 1 this is some some people think this is really complicated but this is not that much complicated okay if you have any question about the reshaping any question about the dimension if you have any question about the axis you can ask me in comment section do subscribe turn on notification bell thanks for watching this video